Hello friends, welcome to my channel Nikira Techies and this is our Angular 16 in GRX tutorial. In this video, let me introduce one new library that is NGRX Router Store. First, let me tell you what is the use of this router store. So if you want to perform any logic implementation during the router navigation, we can use this router store. So this router store basically dispatch some actions in order to listen the changes from our router state. Okay. And by adding some of the configuration in our application, we can store the route change information in our state. The information are just like a URL and any parameters and also the query parameters. If you want to apply some customization also, that is possible from here. Already in our Angular application, we can get the same information by injecting the activated route. Okay. But since we are using these packages, we can directly adding this information in our store. So once we have these information from our store, we can access from the whole application. Okay. Now let me start the implementation and also we can cover some of the examples. Now let me go to the official site of NGRX. So here we already installed this NGRX store and AFX. Now we are in this router store. Okay. So let me copy this command. We can stop this one. So the implementation is very simple. First, we have to install these packages. After that, uh, we have to include some configuration. Okay. Okay. I am getting some dependency error by adding this package. Maybe not succeeded. Now I understood. Let me verify my package.json. Okay. See, our store and effects uh, both are having the version is 16.1 but the latest version is 16.2 okay so now we have the two options one is we have to upgrade this store effects and the dev tools after that we have to install the particular package otherwise we have to install the same version 16.1.0 okay so let me install the same version see now the installation in progress Okay, the installation gets completed and if you are checking in this changes side, so in our app.model model look like one new model is imported. Okay, so you can see at the end. So in case this import is not happened, you have to import it manually. So the model name is store router connection model. Okay, now let me run our application. Okay, application in running mode. So if I'm checking in this Redux side, you can see in this initial load. So these are the actions from our application load spinner, load block spinner and success. So additionally, we can see this navigation and this navigated. Okay. So if I'm moving to this home, so this request navigation and this navigated. So these three actions are additionally included. So if you want to show the difference, let me command this one. I mean this model. So if I'm refreshing the page, see, we don't have any actions. Okay. So if I'm moving to this counter also, there is no actions. When I'm clicking this increment only, we can see one new action is executed. But at the same time, if it is enabled, see now. So these three actions are additionally executed. If I'm going to the counter also, see again. So if you are checking this action, we can find the complete details. From the payload, we are getting this router state. So inside that, we can see these params, data, URL, and the events. We have a lot of information, okay? So next, what I'm going to do, let me include this complete route information into our state, okay? So currently, if you are checking this state also, we can see this uh, counter block and app. Okay. So let me include this router also. Inside the global folder, we have this app state. Basically, this will act as the combined reducer. So here, I'm going to create one more object. That is router. Here, let me add the router reducer. Okay. So if it is not coming, we have to import it manually. Okay. 
router reducer so we can save this one now if I'm refreshing the screen in our state side uh, we have included this router also so inside the router we have this state and there we have included all the information so if I'm navigating to the different pages also see so the navigation aid is true so we have the complete information how many times I am navigating based on that our navigation aid is varying and if you are checking also we have a first child so inside that again we have information okay so basically it is the kind of bulk information okay and also we are not going to use the complete information and since it is making some application slowness issue so in this case we so we can apply some filters in order to we can store the required information only okay for that we have the serialization concept let me create a new folder so there I'm going to create a new class that is custom serializer it's normal TS file only so in this file uh, let me create one interface router state model so here I'm going to store the URL next to params so the data type we can use the params okay and the next one is query params for accessing the query string data okay so let me save this one next let me create one class I mean define one class so the name is custom serializer so this class implements a router state serializer okay okay this one also not coming so let me import it manually router state serializer here we can specify our model so it is having one method okay that is the serialize so here this we can remove this override and let me remove also instead of that we can do our implementation first let me declare one variable root so next we have to get the url params and query params for that already we have a code so if you are coming to this configuration side so already they provided everything we can reuse it i'm just added here so now the error also got resolved so next to what i'm going to do this custom serializer we can include in our app dot model so initially we have registered defaultly so now i am adding some restrictions by including this serializer okay and let me provide our custom serializer okay so we can save this one so now if i am refreshing the screen and in this router we can see only the minimal information so you are params and also the query params okay so currently we don't have any params and also query params so for the testing purpose so manually I am adding one query string so you know we are able to get this query params okay so similarly let me include one more value We are able to get both the query params okay at the next one these params for this one let me include one route so in our app.routing.model so already we have this blog and also the counter so what i'm going to do let me create one more route section we can provide the name is blog.edit slash and the parameter is id 
okay and better we can create one new component ng generate component and edit block so instead of the block component we can use our edit block component okay next in our block component so in this edit functionality uh, we already done using the pop up for the testing purpose let me comment this one I'm going to navigate our new URL okay so let me inject the router and here so this dot router dot navigate and the value block slash edit after that we have to pass this ID that's it okay see it is navigated edit works okay so in this component what I'm going to do let me access the same value this value okay edit blog ID so the default value is 0 we can bind the same value here so instead of the p tag I am going to use one h2 tag I mean h1 tag just added here so basically what we do using the activated route we can access the same data so first let me implement the same thing after that we can replace with our store logic okay activated route next let me implement the hook So better we can use any that's fine see now so we are able to get the same value okay three so now if I'm clicking the edit from first record so I'm getting this my blog is one okay so now let me check in our Redux side so in this last navigated So in these params, we can see the same information. So if I'm clicking the last one, so the ID is two. So we also get the same information from our store only, okay? Okay, next let me tell you how to access this uh, state information. The step is same only. First, we have to create one selector, okay? So in this router folder, let me create one file router selector here let me declare one variable get router state create feature selector and here we have to mention our router state model okay and then our object is router so finally export router info create selector and we have to pass this get router state so return we can return the exact state okay so basically we can define our selector like this but in this uh, router selector we have only one so basically we have okay basically we have select okay basically we have defined our selector like this but in this uh, router selector we have one slight difference okay let me tell you so if you are checking this state we have this counter right so inside the counter we have the data that's it similarly in this blog also same but if you are checking this router so inside that we have one state
so inside the state only we have our actual data okay okay in this case we have to include one more class so in this selector side so that class is router reducer state okay if it is not coming we have to import it manually reducer state so the error got resolved so now if you are checking we can get this navigator id and also the state i am going to return this state only okay so from this state uh, we will get the complete information uh, like this params and query params and url also but in our case uh, we are going to access this params id only so let me include this one and our key is id okay so let me save this one next in our component side so in this edit plug let me comment this one okay also we can remove this activated route for the reference let me have this one private store and just injecting the store okay so after that we can use the select option so there I am going to use our state okay get router info so this dot edit blog ID equal to this item so let me format this one so currently we are in the home page I am just refreshing once I moved it to the blog if I am clicking this edit see I am able to get the same information here is the only advantage is uh, we no need to inject this activated route in our component side so instead of that we can get the data from our store itself so basically in this uh, edit scenario we supposed to pass the particular ID from our component for getting the individual edit information since our uh, route information available in this store we can directly handle everything from our NGRX side okay from the component side we can get the data only okay so this is the only advantage I noted so now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching